Nearly nine years after 9-11, the United States is still facing a major terror threat. You may be surprised to learn who agents are catching trying to cross the border from Mexico. We reviewed congressional reports and traveled to the southwest to find a threat that affects us here in metro Atlanta. The Border Patrol uses choppers, ATVs, and horses to patrol the 2,000-mile southwest border. Most of the illegals caught crossing are from Mexico or South America, but thousands are classified as OTMs, other than Mexicans, including hundreds from nations that sponsor terror. These are the records we obtained at this federal detention center near Phoenix, Arizona. We found illegals from Afghanistan, Egypt, Iran, Iraq, Pakistan, Sudan, and Yemen in custody. We have left the back door to the United States open. Former Arizona Congressman J.D. Hayworth has seen the intelligence reports. And we have to understand that there are people who definitely mean to do us harm who have crossed that border. This Arizona rancher doesn't want to be identified because he fears the Mexican cartels who smuggle drugs and people near his property. This Muslim prayer rug was found on his ranch. It's just one more indicator that there's a whole lot more than just a few poor Mexicans coming into the United States. There's more. This congressional report on border threats confirms members of Hezbollah have crossed the southwest border. It also contains photos of military jackets found on the border. The Arab insignia reads, Martyr, Way to Eternal Life. The other depicts a plane crashing into the Twin Towers. The American public has been kept in the dark about this whole issue. Dave Stoddard was a Border Patrol agent for 20 years. He worries about the dangerous people who get through and may be living among us. In my experience, uh, for every one apprehended, there was at least 10 that would escape apprehension. The congressional report also reveals the route Middle Easterners take. They travel from Europe to South America to the tri-border region where they learn to speak Spanish, then travel to Mexico and blend in with other illegals heading to this country. One of the world's most wanted terrorists was actually spotted in Atlanta, and speculation is that he came up through the mountains into this country through the Mexican border. Adnan Shurkajuma is a Saudi Arabian pilot and bomb expert with a $5 million bounty on his head. Federal agents verified he spent time in Atlanta just prior to 9-11 and left on a bus. In 2004, Shirka Juma was one of seven al-Qaeda members the feds were looking for after they were spotted in Central America and believed to be heading for the U.S. The most grave concern from the congressional report, that Mexican drug cartels will help terrorists smuggle weapons across remote border crossings. Because if we learn nothing from 9-11, certainly we should have learned that borders are important. And former Arizona Governor Janet Napolitano is now Secretary of Homeland Security. We wanted to ask her about the border threat, but our request for an interview was never answered.